I'm Danny Gasparini and welcome to this segment of Penn Voice. I am joined today by Lee Michelson, who is the CEO of the Sequoia Healthcare District, and Theodora Kyle Singer, who is the navigator for a program called 70 Strong. Theodora, welcome. Lee, welcome. Thank you. Before we jump into 70 Strong, which is why we're here today, Lee, tell us a little bit about the Sequoia Healthcare District and, and what it does. Well, Danny, we've been around since 1946. We're a special district, so we're a government organization who serves the people of central to southern San Mateo County. Mm -hmm. And our mission is to do things that impact positive, positively their health and their well-being. And so we do a wide variety of programming. We're primarily a funder of community programs, but we also uh, have a few programs of our own. And our goal is a healthier and uh, better community. So that what that's what leads us to talk about 70 Strong, right? Um, a new program for the Sequoia Healthcare District. Yes. New partnership and collaboration. So, Theodora, you're um, what they call the navigator for the program. So, what does that entail? And then tell us a little bit about the program. Well, as the lead navigator, we have people able to access our service and program in. A three different ways. Mm -hmm. So we have the website, we have people calling in and we're able to do home visits. We provide direct information and resources to people, kind of like a concierge service for older adults. And this is something that the healthcare district then funds mm -hmm. the navigators and the programs and services mm -hmm. that you would find under the umbrella of 70 Strong. Mm -hmm. That's right. So tell us a little bit about some of those services that are within the program. Well. We designed it, I think, uh, with sort of two goals in mind. One was to provide program services and information for those people who actually felt like they needed some help or mm -hmm. they, they were looking for... Uh, and relevant to their age what, and where right. they are in life. And um, so if someone needed to connect to something to improve their life, there would be an easy resource either through the website or a call or a visit to somebody could direct them to where they can get that assistance, right. but that was only part of it. We also wanted to have, make sure it was also a place where people could go who had a lot to offer, had, still, had something to give to the community, uh, whether it be volunteer opportunities or social activities or ways that they can be involved in their own, in their community. So the idea was to connect people. If someone felt that they needed uh, to find out about a program or service, that was the connection. Or if they just wanted to be able to give back or mm -hmm. to uh, be active in the community, there was a way to do that as well and, and to find out about opportunities there. So it, it was meant to be much more than, um, oh, you have a problem, let us help you fix this right. problem. It was meant, oh, you have some time on your hands, you'd like to use it in a, a useful and important mm -hmm. way, here are some ways that you can do that. So tell us how technically it works. So I, hopefully through this program and all of the other publications and media that you're doing about 70 Strong, somebody learns about it. What then happens? How, how does it actually come to fruition? How do I get connected? The first opportunity would be to access our website. Okay. And regardless of how somebody enters into learning about our, our service and program and getting connected to us, they have a very easy and comprehensive website that they can access. And it's not just the person who might be looking for themselves, it could be a family member, um, a spouse, an adult child, um, a sister, a brother, who's interested in finding out what's available mm -hmm. locally for that person. Mm -hmm. The website is very easy to use. Um, very comprehensive. When they look into resources, all of the information is on one page. Mm -hmm. So they have what the program or service is, um, who's eligible for it, um, if there's cost incurred that might be included. There might be a contact name. Um, and then we have address and phone numbers and actual links to those services as well, but it's all in one page. So very easy to use. And then we also have an opportunity for people to call in. So there are people who may not have computers, who may not be computer savvy or comfortable sure. with the computers, um, or they would just like to speak with somebody in person. They can call in to us and we'll provide information and resources to them over the phone. And then the other option would be for people to have an opportunity for us to come to them. And most often it can be in a home visit. Mm -hmm. So it's confidential. They can talk openly about what they're looking for, if they have 
many things that they're interested in. It gives us a lot of time to speak with them in person and be more personable to them. And then we do have outreach locations we, where we are reaching out and connecting to people. So they're able to see us face to face and interact with us and put a name to a face, which is also on the website, our information and background. Yeah, so well, the idea yeah. was to create an environment where they can trust us and they know where to right, go for right. the information. Yeah, one of the things that was important to the healthcare district was that we had multiple options and ways right. that people could mm -hmm. enter into the program. And we wanted to make it very customer friendly and very comfortable mm -hmm. for whoever was contacting right. us. Mm -hmm. um, and so we wanted to have these options. And the other thing we wanted to make sure was that the healthcare district, uh, in partnership with the P Peninsula Family Services, who, uh, who actually operates the program, um, that it was a free program. Right. That when people uh, contacted us, they knew they were not uh, incurring any kind of a charge. Uh, we're funded through property tax, and so we felt that people were already paying for this right. program, and that we did not need to add any ad additional charge to someone. So whether it's a home visit, the call, or whatever the program it is, it is free to the community. And I think what I love most about this is the idea that you added to the navigation system. So you've got a real live navigator. Mm -hmm. um, all too often, I think we're left up to ourselves to understand whether or not we fit within that square peg or round hole. Mm -hmm. But yet in this one, we can just basically learn about a concept or idea or a program and say, hmm, let me call to find out or let me go on the website to find out whether or not I do fit or maybe there's more. I was thinking about mm -hmm. needing a resource or mm -hmm. needing a service and yet now I found out that you want my skill set and my time mm -hmm. and I can do something more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we also wanted it to be a little bit more than just a typical referral service. Right. Uh, here's a phone number, call them, and you're yeah. on your own you want to engage figure with it out. The, with the people. We wanted people to actually be connected, and, and it wasn't a success until the connection actually occurred. Right. That's how we defined it, the success, when the, the connection was occurred and people get what they need or what they want. So, Teddy, um, who are the folks? What, what, what do they look like um, mm -hmm. that you're reaching and that are gonna be utilizing um, this program and resource? We've had a, a wide range of communication with people, um, especially with the phone calls coming in and the home visits. Mm -hmm. So the age range um, is wide, um, and we have individuals living alone. We have married couples. We have um, people in communities who are well connected but still need some other resources and information. We've reached, in just the few months that we've launched, a wide range of diverse people who've um, benefited from our service. So no wonder you need a navigator. There is oh, yeah. no typical no. stereotype of the person that's all. going to be using Not at all. Um, your services and or giving back to your community. Yeah, and the other thing is because you know we're, we're all aging, we have sometimes two generations that we're talking to. Someone may be calling about their adult parent in the area, but then they're also aging as well, and right. they, they want to know what's available for them as well. So that's the neat part. And I love the fact that it ranges from um, if you want to do yoga or um, learn about gardening mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and how to um, kinds mm -hmm. of things, you, you, it's a, a it, wide range it, of interest. It, it, and it maybe someone who needs skill set, uh, a medical situation, or a, commu in a social service situation, or it may mm -hmm. again be, I have some time. I'd like to uh, teach some kids how to read, or I'd like to be involved. I'd like to play softball. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there a place to play softball? Right. Mm -hmm. I'm 70 years old. I, I now mm -hmm. have, I'm now retired. I have some time on my hands. Right. What can I do with this time? I, these are my interests. Where do I go to get those? So, Lee, right. here's the here's the um, important question. You had mentioned that um, the healthcare district receives taxpayer dollars. Mm -hmm. How are you going to measure and ensure success for 70 Strong? Well, some of it is measured be honest with you, is purely uh, uh, numbers. Are people going to the website? Are they calling? Right, are anecdotally, they using, are, they, yeah, are they coming are back? They, are they, and then, you know, we're hearing stories, right? So the stories mm -hmm. are important. Right. Um, and then the other uh, measure of success, yep. I think, is are we making an impact on what I call social isolation? Getting people out of the homes where the tendency to become depressed or right. to fall and, and live very isolated life, are they becoming more active? And right. so we will be doing those that kind of research. Great. We've, we've actually hired a research company as part of this to see what impact we're having. 
if we're moving the needle, are people becoming more socially involved, more socially engaged? Well, then I'm going to invite the both of you back to tell us about what those results be. We're already out of time. Uh -huh. Lee and Theodora, mm -hmm. thank you so much for telling us about 70 Strong, and we'll encourage everyone to jump on that website and well, start there. Thanks for your thank time. You. Thanks again, and see you next time on Penn Voice.